what first attracted me to Czech New Wave cinema was the titles. Um, Loves of a Blonde, Birds, Orphans and Fools, Closely Observed Trains, Man is Not a Bird. Um, this is real brilliant, surreal, poetic use of language. When I further looked into the sort of like the politics of, of the Czech New Wave, it was, um, I realised that it was actually behind closed doors quite a, you know, quite a bona fide group of people which were sort of like incestuous in a very good way and it was easy to sort of build a ladder and a web through the whole Czech New Wave. And the fact that the sort of links between like Jan Klusak as a composer and an actor and um, trying to find other films by Shalarova and seeing how she crossed over into Hungarian cinema. And then Helena Anasova and how she went on to work with, um, well, being the cremator by Juraz Hurst and then go to work with in Slovak film with um, Jakubisko. Jakubisko's films make for an interesting comparison with Valeria because I think that while Valeria um, perhaps um, subscribes more sort of, I would say more, um, uh, more optimistically to the, the innocence of the counterculture, I think Jakubisko's films can almost be seen as being ahead of their time, I think in anticipating the, the darker aspects of the, of the counterculture. So I would sort of, um, I would, I would, um, I would uh, compare Valeria and A Week of Wonders with Birds, Orphans and Fools because I think, in a sense, they illustrate, uh, I suppose, the yin and yang of the, of the 60s counterculture. On the one hand, the dreams, the innocence, the pastoralism. On the other hand, the sense of psychosis, of violence. Czech New Wave directors never underestimated the viewer's ability to enjoy juxtapositions. They seem very comfortable with breaking from traditional narrative techniques, and there's a lot of left turns and it's, it's a kind of broken style. There's a scene when Valerie's in a giant bird cage watching a local couple having sex in a tree. That's the kind of film it is. In the straws in 